I'm here today to talk to you about an amazing film that uh, I feel very lucky and fortunate to be a part of, and hopefully you will as well. I I'll, I'll tell you the reason why I got involved. When I was a kid, I was growing up in West Virginia, and I was the youngest of three ballet dancing brothers. And that was not the cool thing to be in West Virginia. Believe Shocker, I know. I got made fun of a lot, I got chased a lot, I got beaten up a lot, but as a result of having this in my life and having my parents you know, encouraging me and, and letting me do this, it made me a better person. It let me have a, a side of my life that really was able to flourish as a creative person. And it gave me the courage and I think the ability to want to chase after my ultimate dreams uh, as an artist. The beauty of ballroom dance is that it compels two people to move as one, and in the process, they learn to respect each other. I produced Take the Lead, starring Antonio Banderas, which was inspired by the true story of Pierre Dulaine, the world-renowned ballroom dancer who went into the public schools of New York to teach inner-city kids to ballroom dance. Perhaps you saw his program documented in the film, Met Hot Ballroom. Our film begins when Pierre returns to Jaffa, where he was born, to teach Arab and Jewish fifth graders to dance together. Jaffa today is actually considered part of Tel Aviv, and it's one of only six mixed cities of Jews and Palestinian Israelis in Israel. It's important for me to say that this is not only film about children learning to dance, it is about the power of art in a community with deep-seated issues of segregation, resentment, and prejudice. May I have this dance, please? Keep it up, son. This is a social development program and not trying to teach the children to go on dancing with the stars or to become champions, but they will remember the escort position, thank you partner. These things are the manners they will take with them for life. Pierre taught a 10-week program building to a final competition. In the beginning, the children were spitting on each other and pulling down their sleeves so their skin wouldn't touch. By the end, they were holding each other, touching each other, respecting each other. also believe in the power of film to change hearts and minds. Please support us today on Kickstarter. We need $35,000 to finish the rough cut of Dancing in Jaffa. Please help us finish our film and share Pierre's message that if we can change the children, we can change the future. This is a story of defying expectations and believing that we are all capable of change. So uh, stand up, put on your dancing shoes, and let's get behind an amazing movie, Dancing in Jaffa. Thank you. Yeah.